welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cardi Aquarius, and I'm back with another banger man. And today, as y'all see from that title and that thumbnail, I'm doing something different on my channel. A story time. I ain't never did a story time ever on my channel. This is the first one that I'm doing on my channel. So may y'all stay tuned to the end of the video. Make sure you smash the like button. Comment down below, subscribe, turn that post notification on so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. But yeah, we about to get into this. Let me tell y'all, when you move, it is, I ain't gonna say stressful, but it's a lot. It's like a process. Like, you gotta, dang, I'm telling you, it's a lot. But, <clears throat> You gotta pack up everything. You gotta make sure everything is right with the last place you were living at. It's just, it's just a lot. Then, especially moving to another state, slash city, you gotta adjust to that as well. Like, but we not about to get into talking about that. We about to get into why this Airbnb was a fail. Okay. We thought it was going to be good, but it wasn't. It was a good idea when we was in Columbia, like South Carolina. It was a good idea when we was there because we was thinking this through. But once we dang start, once we got out here, it was just so much. Like, you just don't understand. It was just a lot. But, yeah. So, we moved to out of Columbia, like, I think August august 8th so yeah it was last month we wasn't out here that long so it wasn't that long so yeah it was last month say august 8th so we moved to atlanta it's an airbnb as y'all can see if y'all didn't know it was in the airbnb my video is on my channel right now the airbnb tour on where we were living okay so we moved out here august 8th and then we got an Airbnb for like a couple of weeks or whatever, I think. It was supposed to be for a month, but listen, them Airbnbs, whoo, them shits is expensive. Like, I'm telling you, but it was like a good 2000 for like a month, I think. I can't remember how much it is, but we did the dumbest shit, bruh. We booked an Airbnb for like one to two weeks for like six to seven hundred dollars, I think. I can't remember how much it was, but it was around that price. It was like freaking money we could be spending on rent. Like, the, it was just crazy. Money we could have been saving for rent money for our place. Like, we made a dumb decision, but we learned from it. We all learned from it, and now we're moving forward from that, you know? So, yeah, we did that. We stayed in the Airbnb for, like, a couple of weeks. And then, we ex when that week was up, we, we extended it again. But then, we had some problems. So, we had to find a second Airbnb. So, this is where the problem happened. When we was looking for the second Airbnb, <sighs> telling you, so we was looking for a second Airbnb. It was like late at night. We was trying to say, "Where we gonna sleep? Where we gonna stay at, or whatever?" So it was like, it was hard. So we found Airbnb on I think Verbal or whatever. Yeah, it was Verbal. So yeah, we found the Airbnb on Verbal. And listen, we booked it. That was like, and we got that for like, I think we got that one for a week too, I think. I don't even know how long we got that one for, but it was a week we booked it for. And that was a good like nine. Again, that's like, I don't even know. That, that could be like stuff, you know, other expenses we could have put that towards. We got that for like nine. So the next morning, we was leaving out the first Airbnb. No, wait, that was not it. The um. So as it was getting close to us to leaving out the first Airbnb, I kept calling the uh 
other the second Airbnb to see what was going on because we didn't have the location, like we didn't get the information or whatever. We didn't know where we was gonna go at the second Airbnb. So I kept calling them and calling them. The peop the host of the second one, they ain't send us the location. So I kept calling and calling. It got closer to the day. The day before, still nothing. Still no location. It's still nothing. So, and then that's when the day of, I finally got the information on the location of the second Airbnb. Which that's not how that's supposed to go. You supposed to get that all that information before you arrive, before the day of. So yeah. I got all that information and then we was on our way to the second airbnb bro listen we was driving like all over atlanta that damn that damn morning like it was just crazy and then traffic was crazy it was just too much like we went to this apartment complex thinking that it was the second airbnb we ended up ringing somebody else door well not ringing somebody else doorbell we tried to type in the code that was on the verbal app of the second airbnb try to type that in to get in someone else's crib it was like i think you got the wrong wrong apartment or whatever wrong house i was like oh snap so at this point we was like it was hot outside at this point we was so confused like where we gonna go we gonna so we kept calling and calling and calling the people and they was like well we can get y'all a hotel or whatever get y'all a hotel for the night or whatever and it was like hold on wait we booked this airbnb for like a week and these people telling us we just gone day they're they gonna get us a hotel for like one or two days for like i don't know how much it was like four something for one to two days when we booked the airbnb for a week so my, at this point we think we got scammed or whatever so we was like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh what are we gonna do like we thinking we got scammed yeah az was like y'all might as well take that dub because we got scammed or whatever but listen i mean take that l because we got scammed i was like what are we gonna do what are we gonna do Shit, we was just thinking hard it was just too much <sighs> at this point gabe confused he don't know what's going on we all was hot ready to like lay down getting the new airbnb riding around atlanta just looking for some place to go talking to these people on the phone like what in the world what's going on for real so mind you so we went to this park we waited for these people. So they booked us the hotel. Let me rewind. They booked us the hotel. So we went to the hotel and the man at the front desk, the boy at the front desk, he was like, uh, it's reserved, but it has to be a car on file or whatever. Mind you, I know it has to be a card on file, but I'm not about to get my account charm charged because they already paid for it. So he telling me that I gotta put my car on file because his manager um was like they can't use the card number that the Airbnb people had on the email that was sent. So I was like, I'm not putting my card on file or whatever. So I wasn't about to do that because I'm not about to get my money taken out of my account because it's not my fault that we ended up here or whatever. It was the Airbnb. I ain't even gonna say Airbnb. It was Verbal's fault. That's another traveling booking site. You feel me? Booking thing for houses and stuff. But it's like Airbnb, but it's like different. I don't know how to explain it, but <clears throat> yeah. So we was at, sitting at the hotel. We was sitting at the hotel, and we was like, "Oh my gosh, we gonna do?" We kept calling Verbal over and over. We was like. Da, 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 da. What we gonna do? We gonna do? All right. So fast forward, we went to this park. We sat out the park for like a good two to three hours, bro. Thinking about what we about to do. Like we really ain't got no place to stay right now. Like what in the world are we gonna do? So 
I got on the phone and I called verbal again. I was like, the man at the desk at the hotel said, we said it was in reserve. Like we had to put, he said it was reserved, but we had to use a card or whatever. And he, it was just so much going on. I can't even remember all that, but it was just so much going on. They said it wasn't reserved or paid for, I think. Yeah, I think, I think, but I don't even know. But we called them back and they was like, oh, we paid for it. We paid for it. Y'all got to go back up there and da, 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 da. So a couple of minutes later, we went back up there and we was like, the lady stayed on the phone. I told the lady to stay on the phone when I got to the hotel so she can talk to these people because I'm not about to waste my breath on telling them what you said to me. But she still didn't talk to the people. I talked to the dude. He was like, I'm glad y'all came back because my managers left. Because mind you, I was going to use a cash app card. But I still, I wasn't about to put my card on there because, yeah. But, um, yeah, he was like, I'm glad y'all came back because... Um, damn, this is a long, this is a lot. He was like, I'm glad y'all came back. <clears throat> because, I forgot what he said though, bruh. But anyways, <laughs> he said he glad we came back because he could help us get in the room and shit like that. So, he helped us get in the room. He helped us get in the room and we was thankful for that because we got two rooms all right we got two rooms az and gabe got his own their own room and me and my sister got our own room or whatever so we stayed in air the why do i keep saying airbnb we stayed in a hotel for like i don't even know for like a couple of days so we did that after that we don't know what we was gonna do so I think we was like, let's go back to Columbia and shit like that. We was like, we not going back to Columbia. So we didn't go back to Columbia. We ended up sleeping in the car, bro. Man, listen, y'all. What's up, fam? Listen, we out here. We just chilling. But we staying in the car until we get our next place you feel me but yeah and we trying to save money man them airbnbs are too expensive az went to a bathroom or whatever shit the come up is real you feel me queen key just pulled up queen key hey y'all finna eat my sub her sandwich or whatever the hell it is gabe i don't know what gabe at We just chilling, bro. We really about to go buy a basketball for real. Hey, we about to buy a basketball. Fuck a eating rolls or whatever the hell that is. Wraps. He in wraps. Nasty shit. I'm telling you. Shit, I forgot what I was about to say. Oh, yeah. Hey, anybody got one of them? Um... What? Got what? Oh, <laughs> Gabe coming back tonight? That's what he said. Yeah, I'll leave one of my boxes in this shit. Oh, shit. Gabe coming? Yeah, because he got work in the morning. You know Gabe was coming, bro. <laughs> he told me he was coming back. We just chilling out here. We look like we camping for real. This is actually camping. I ain't never camped a day in my life. You about to be camping inside the cars. Shit crazy. Uh huh. Not in no tent in or nothing. The field, bro. This dude say we in the field. We in the field. It's like the military. I was trained for this. And this shit easy. This shit right here about to be a piece. 
Listen, I just want to say this to y'all. Do yeah. not book. Do not book off verbal. They will rip you <laughs> off. But they better give us our refund back though. We paid almost two thousand, bro, just for one house. Fuck, it's crazy. But it's cool though, hey. cause we gonna make that shit back in no time. What? Well, um, I got a toothpick. Boy, we ain't got no toothpick. Floss. I got floss in my bag. Which one? Hey, I get it. I was just talking. Eat eating some nasty shit. Yeah. Yeah, niggas eating some nasty shit over there. Yeah. Yeah. Yo. Yeah, I'm finna buy a chain. Sound crazy, right? I don't care, though. I'm gonna buy a chain. Priority? They be like, is it your priorities are so fucked up? But I wanna buy a chain, though. <laughs> That's how I feel. Well, my priorities ain't really fucked up. I shit in line, though. In my way, cause I'm my own person. I got my own shit going on for myself. Dang! I can't close the trunk. Dang! Anybody want to apple? Fuck over here eating good, y'all. Got fucking apple sandwiches and shit. Mm -hmm. Apples and sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Yo, I need my hair done. I ain't gonna count. I'm about to get my hair done in a couple of days. For real. Thursday. At 2 o'clock. Get my hair done in a couple of days. I was shitting the day. I was mad. I was mad, man. We drove almost an hour from the city to the damn country area. Just for us to get turned around. But it's cool though. It's cool though. Huh? We ended up sleeping in our car for like a week or something. A week. I think, okay, Gabe went back to Columbia because he wasn't doing that. He said he wasn't doing that. I mean, I didn't want to do it either, but hey, it is what it is. Hey, it was a lesson we learned and we moving forward so yeah we slept in a car for like a week or a couple of days and then we found another hotel we found another hotel because uh verbal they had gave us our money back the money we thought we got scammed off of i mean the money we thought we got taken away from us we got that back a couple of days after we left that hotel so yeah, we got that back and we found another hotel. So Gabe didn't came back yet and we was calling him and asking if he was gonna come back. So we got in the other hotel and it's me, my sister, and AZ. So we got the hotel and then we just stayed in there and just chilled. And just, yeah, just chilling. And then that one, Gabe came back like the night and he was just in there with us or whatever and then yeah and then after that hotel inn I don't what's going on. we all this is where it gets deep so we all it's like what are we gonna do now what are we gonna do now gay was just th thinking so hard he was thinking hard matter of fact this is a hard decision we had to make but yeah, we went to Walmart in downtown. One of the Walmarts in downtown. We slept in the car at Walmart. Wait, yeah. Yeah, we slept. 
We slept in the car at Walmart, but Gabe wasn't doing it or whatever. So he left and he went back, he went back to Columbia. But it was a smart idea because we all should have left because it was just too much. So yeah, so it was just me, my sister, AZ, then we slept in the car at Walmart parking lot. So mind you, we already had started working so yeah, I started working at this job. So I had money or whatever. My sister and AZ, they wasn't working yet. So we was just outside in the heat, just chilling, hot. Well, it wasn't that hot, we was just, yeah. Well, anyways. Um, And then, after, I mean, it wasn't that much, but we slept in the car. And then, yeah, AZ, he left too. And then me and my sister was the only one here. And we're still here, you know. But we still live in Colombia. So y'all can stop asking questions because we still live in Colombia. We just commute back and forth to Atlanta. If you get what I'm saying. Because we work out here. We have jobs out here. So. <clears throat> yeah. That was hard or whatever. But. We made a decision. And we stuck with it. But it was a lesson that we all learned. And now we're moving forward. We're moving forward from that. Because that was a, that was a tough lesson. But yeah. It's my first story time. I don't know how I did. But yeah, make sure you smash the like button, comment down below, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Alright? Because I keep saying that I'm about to drop videos or whatever. I'm really about to drop videos for real. I just gotta get my life together. Gotta get back in motion. You feel me? But yeah, stay tuned because I am back in full effect. I got new content coming on the channel, so you guys be ready for that. And I'm like, oh, I gave you all my love, and y'all told you what it was, but I ain't spit.